Dear you, I wrote you a poem in my head, and it is so beautiful. There are so many lines to it, I'm trying to remember them, but I didn't have any paper to write them down on, so... Dear you, I wrote you a poem in my head. I had a pen and some paper. I wrote down two lines, and I, I crossed them out. I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted. Dear you, you told me you like libraries, so I wrote you one. I keep it right behind my right eye. And you can sometimes see pages moving in just the right light. I've written so many lines about you in my head that when I see you, I stitch poems from them. There is an entire section in my library full of quilts. When you cover yourself with them, they speak sonnets, poorly, and with the wrong number of lines, but they do try so hard. Dear you, you walk in the door and I write similes, like the way you bring in the cold and immediately shut it out is like, I'm chilled by how sometimes I cannot believe that you are real at all. Dear you, I can't remember most of what I want to write about you. I just put everything on a shelf and hope to find it later. There are so many volumes of versions of you, dictionaries of your looks, encyclopedias of your sleep patterns, how-tos of how you order your coffee, that I had to write in ladders that curve around shelves and shelves. There are no traditional sections here, only ones that read lips or hip bones, or sparrows, or the way you murmur in your sleep, or that spot between your right shoulder blade and your spine that when I get to it, I can't stop kissing. Dear you, in the center of my library is a spiral staircase. At the top, I wrote you a bed. And whispered you sheets. I'm sorry that I forgot to fashion you any pajamas, but I don't think you'll blame me. <laughs> Dear you, if there was ever a book to get lost inside of, to burrow myself into, to etch my narrations into the white space, it is you. I haven't used a pencil in years. All I have are ink pens.